So good morning, everyone. I'm Kwon Zeng Yu. I'm I work with Professor Jay Bolo from the University of Rochester. This is John work with uh, Hailin, Zhao Wen, and Chen Fang from Adobe Research. So currently, for image capturing system, uh, we think there are two approaches. The first one is a bottom-up approach. So first, uh, give an image, you generate a bunch of words. And next, uh, you use uh, you try to compose a sentence or caption from those candidate words. And the second approach is just start from the whole image, and you generate the whole sentence directly. Mm -hmm. So our idea is kind of combine these two approaches. So given an image from this picture, you can see we first generate a bunch of relevant uh, sentence relevant attributes from the image. And the, at the same time, this image is also supplied to a convolution neural network to extract the, the global representations. And next, uh, both of them are supplied to the recurrent neural network to generate the final uh, caption. So the main question is how you are going to use this generated uh, uh, visual attributes. Okay. So intuitively, you think you know at each time stamp we should focus on different uh, uh, visual attributes, right? So in our, our implementation, we use the attention model. So uh, we try to select uh, relevant uh, uh, words at the time stamp when you try to predict the next word. And uh, this equation shows the uh, details of the, how to generate the uh, attention weights. And uh, this figure, in our implementation, we have two uh, attention models. The first one is uh, use the, the, at the, just at the input stage. So it means we only focus the current input information. And we also have the uh, second attention model at the output of recurrent network which we think may use the uh, contact information to select a more accurate uh, attention. And uh, the second question is how you are going to generate the uh, visual attributes. So this is not the main concern, but in our experiments, we use three approaches. Here is an example of one picture and the candidate which we attribute. We can see they are not that accurate. Some of our words are not relevant, but we hope that the attention model can select some of the relevant words at each time stamp. And uh, here's an example. We show some cases are and compare with the Google Neural Talk. And then we can see, for example, the second one, the baby, and uh, the Google model may not generate a may generate a not relevant sentence, but when supplied the, the baby or toothbrush, uh, to, we can uh, make a more accurate uh, uh, caption. And well, we also evaluate the model at uh, Flickr 30K and I'm at Google, and then you can see our model can now have a better performance than existing approach on this data set. And uh, at the time of submission of this work, we also evaluate our model on MS Coco testing data set and submit it to the uh, Coda Lab server. And uh, most, we have achieved rank the number one, had the most um, evaluation metric in the submission of this work. And uh, that's all. If you have any questions, please come to the post session and discuss with me. Thank you very much.